Hello. Hello, we're Dana Mike. Hello. We're here to help you with your online fitness business in any way we can by ramping up your expenses, uh, <laughs> making everything look good on paper, but actually fucking you over. Um, yeah. Oh, God. My yeah. knees. Worse than Mike's knees are. The old footballer's the knees. I've got to make it pro if it weren't for my football. Anyone on the email list will know the story about me split squatting 32 kilo uh, kettlebells in each hand and Mike crumbling like a collapsed shed under the load. It's the right knee. Uh, did uh, did the, the the ligament in it. Um, Cost you a career, didn't it? That one? Yeah, uh, that and uh, my uh, gen- general ability um, <laughs> yeah. that prevented me from going pro. So yeah, definitely, yeah, you know, speed. Um, you know, awareness, just stuff. Tactical like if, ability. If, if that were better, then yeah, yeah, yeah. It. touch, um, touch. Yeah. Um, bad knees, bad knees, and I'm and I'm old, thirty five. A couple of weeks ago now, as we sat here, it's four days ago. But, yeah. There you go. Um, like it and stuff. Share it. There we go. Tell everyone about it, please, because we need. No, not everyone. No, everyone is an online video. coach. Everyone is an online coach. Yeah. Remember that. It's a yeah. niche thing. Um, so yeah. Today we're going to talk about online coaches being too busy. Oh, too busy to do that. Can't do it. I haven't got enough time. Oh, I wish I had enough time in the day. I've only got. I've got eighteen clients, so I've just, I've just rammed. I've got too much, too much on. What are you doing all day? Is uh, is my question um, to, to to online coaches. So, online coaching is sold as the dream, freedom, flexibility, working for yourself. It's it's great. It's incredible. I want to get off the gym floor because I hate I hate spending all those hours on the gym floor. I hate it. Um, I just want to start with this and say that when you become an online coach, the amount of hours you work should not change. Just the flexibility you have within those hours should change. So make sure you're doing eight, nine hours a day of work and that you're being flexible with being able to do the gym around lunchtime, maybe. Great. You know, you have to push the hours you work back later into the evening or you want to do earlier morning starts and you want to finish, finish a bit earlier. That's fine. But I, um, I seriously question how many coaches are doing the hours that they think they are. Because you speak to some of them and it's like, the, it is like they are a CEO of a Fortune 500 fucking company and that they've got 70 hours a week and that they don't see their wife and kids and they're never at home. It's the way that, you know, they talk about it. Isn't it? And yeah. I'm like, well, they're not Mike Harrison, so That's they're right. not doing that many hours. So what are they doing? That's my question. Because I know how do you work. I know how hours you do. <sighs> Wanking, probably. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? That's all they do. I just don't... That's it. End of video. Um, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So let's just break it down, right? And go, okay, let's say... Let's just say they... That's my... By the way, that's the amount of input I've had to that video so far. Yeah, that right. is... Yeah. That, that's, yeah. As with most videos, isn't it? That yeah. one. Um, so let's say, let's say a coach has got 30 clients, Mike. They've got 30 clients, okay? And they've got... Let's say they've got 2,000 followers on Instagram because, you know, they're, they're big time. Yeah. Let's say... Break down to me how many hours of work dealing with those 30 clients, just the 30 clients. How many hours a week is that in time? So I'm going to say that even with video check-ins... Um, well, well, they should be doing that as standard, so... As, as standard, yeah. So yep. video check-ins. Let's just say that you... And let's just be conservative with this. Let's just say you do um, four an hour, which means that your um, client can update you for... Let's just say they're updating you for seven minutes talking. You're obviously going to watch it on one and a half speed, which is going to come out at about four minutes. And then you talk for roughly 10 minutes, <coughs> which you probably should be doing. So that's about 15 minutes times four uh, for, for, your, for your one hour. So you're doing four clients an hour, which means if you've got 30 clients, that'll take you seven and a half hours, if that's right. Yeah, seven and a half hours. Let's, let's be super conservative, Mike. And let's, let's, say, say, let's say three an hour. Okay, so three an hour, so that's 10 hours. 10 and hours, then let's yeah. just say that you are creating training programming, uh, training, training programming for, for your clients as well, and they're run on 12-week blocks. Um, so as a rough average, you might have, well, that would work out at probably roughly about three per week, if that makes sense, yeah. um, to do three training programs. Let's just, again, let's just be conservative and say that that takes you half an hour per training program. It shouldn't, but let's say it does. That's an hour and a half. So that's 11 and a half hours in total mm. with all training programs and um, really nice amounts of time to spend on your client updates. 11. So, that's, so that's 11 and a half hours, right? And let's throw in there in a week that you also spend cumulatively, cumulatively, accumulatively, I would say another one and a half hours WhatsApping them. During the week, which is a ridiculous amount of time, but let's just let's just be really conservative. 
It's 13. So that's 13 hours. So that is one seven-hour block and one six-hour block. On two days. So the seven-hour block means you're working from nine till four on Monday. And then your six-hour block is nine till three on Tuesday. So that's two half days you're working. But it's, but it's, not, even, but it's not even that because the WhatsApp support. Yeah. Because yeah. We're, we've just lumped that WhatsApp support. Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so what else is, is happening? Right, so let's, let's look at that, okay. So then, okay, let's say you're doing email marketing. Let's say you're writing two emails a week uh, and you're, you know, you're going to go back and forth because you probably should look at those about three times. You're going to have a first draft, an edit, and a final edit three times. And I'm going to say half an hour each one. The first one's going to take longer. The last one's going to take the least amount of time, but an hour and a half per email, three hours. So that means on the Tuesday, you're working from nine till six. Then on top of that, then you got your Instagram because this is the thing that most people struggle with is the content. Oh, I don't have time to create content. I don't have time to do all this storyboarding, editing, and filming. Do you know what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, what? Yeah, you have loads of time. <laughs> um, that's that's by the by. Do you know part of that reason is I think that people lack creativity, so that the content takes ages. This is something that I've only worked worked out recently. So this is what people are doing. People are trying to sit down and film, say if they're doing seven meals a week, they're trying to film seven different meals. Like, they're trying to get everything that they want to say into between 20 and 30 seconds. Like, if you're doing a talking head video, does it make sense to try to come up with seven different topics or does it make sense to come up with three different topics, like what we do, and actually talk for three or four minutes? And then out of those three or four minutes, drag two or three different... um, Bit reels out tw- 20 or 30 seconds so then you only need three or four creative ideas to make <laughs> and out of that three or four if you film let's say four film four videos and each uh, out of those you can drag three 20 second clips that means you've created 12 bits of content just off filming those four four minute videos 16 minutes Re- that's it regardless they have the time to make seven brand new ones anyway Reg- regardless like do, you, you're right you're right like yeah, they, they do but at the same time like I, I was just like couple of clients I was just like hang on so you're trying to come up with a different content idea every well, every day it's not impossible to do that don't get me wrong it's not impossible no. but help yourself out yeah because how but, much does this help us out we'll sit here it, and talk for 15 20 minutes on a YouTube video and we'll get six reels out of it so shorten that down rather than doing it on a YouTube video and talk for four minutes rather than trying to Think of everything that you're trying to get into 30 <laughs> seconds, talk for four minutes, and then just allow yourself to not cover every base on every reel. Mm. Pull out one topic and be okay with leaving it open, and then the next reel is for the next topic. Honestly, it, 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 that's exactly how it should be done. Is The amount of coaches I have who they, they try and record, oh, I couldn't record it in a minute, I couldn't, I couldn't hold down yeah. my phone long enough. Yeah, like, innit? what are you on about? Innit? Couldn't hold the record down long enough. What? No, 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 no. You're not like recording it on Instagram and posting it. This is the problem is that coaches are not planning anything out. They're not planning their weeks out. They're not planning their days out. They think they work hard because they sit on their phone on Instagram, then message a client and on WhatsApp, and then they're on Instagram. 10 minutes later, another client messages them. So messages, they go, oh, it's an hour's work. Well, you had five WhatsApp messages in the space of an hour when you're watching reels. Uh, other coaches' reels as well, by the way, and then feeling shit about your own content, which is another problem. Um, but I, I just I just don't understand what coaches do all day. Like the ones that are saying that they don't have time when they've got 18, 20, 30 clients, right? Um, because they, it just tells me that they're not very efficient with their time. Um, and whenever someone says to me that they don't have time for their content, like you said, that's that's one of the first things that we get is I just don't have time to think about this sort of stuff. You need to go through your week and work out where you're spending your time then. Because as we've just said, right, you've got your... Four, was it 13 hours we said? 14 hours? 13 hours of that. If you care about your business, right, which is your business, why would you not put in the same amount of hours, if not more, than someone would in a full-time job that's someone else's business that they're paid to do? You're expecting a full-time wage doing part, part-time hours. You're not even doing part-time hours, really. Part-time would be, what, 30 hours? 25, 30 hours? Like unbelievable the amount of coaches that think they can get away with doing the bare minimum and doing that and you need to assess whether the results you've got in your business are a direct correlation to the amount of work you're putting in because most people I see it is direct correlation that's the thing is that if we've just established that you're doing 13 14 hours do you think you'll grow a better business doing 13 14 hours or 50 
Yeah. So then, the you, thing, so, so then you can't be mad at where you're at. No. And the other thing with that is that when I say to coaches then that you should be putting in 13 to 14 hours on your content, they look at you as if you're fucking batshit crazy. Mm. When you go, well, why would you not put in 13, 14 hours? Mm. You've just told me you do 13, 14 hours of client work. So that's the current, that's service in the current clients. So why would you not spend the same amount of time trying to get new ones? No, I got into this job for balance. Well, you're just doing 30 hours a week there. I've just told, just you're doing 14 hours of clients and 14 hours of content. It's 30 hours. Yeah, but my missus doesn't like being on my phone or on, on, on the evenings. <laughs> get a new missus. <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> me. Like, no, I'm not being funny, but you know, you're in a, you're a business where you don't have to go to work. You don't have to worry about commuting. You don't have to worry about all that sort of shit, but you do have to be on your phone at summer hours that you know, you'd rather not be. Big whoop. You need to do that. Like I said, it's a flexible job. Those 30 hours are spread out a little bit more and you do have to do some stuff. But coaches say, oh, I don't want to work at the weekends. I don't really want to do DMs at the weekend. I don't want to do... You can still post content on the weekends. You can just plan it in the week and you film it and you edit it in the week and you can schedule it now on Reels, which is fantastic. But even if you can't, it takes you five minutes while you're sitting having a shit to post it on Reels. I don't care that, you, you know, oh, your missus doesn't even see you fucking doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's another shit excuse. It's just another bullshit excuse of, I can't grow my business because oh, it's not my fault. It is your fault. It is your fault. It's not growing. It's that you're using all these excuses to why you can't do something. You need to have a discussion. If your missus says that or the family say that, you need to have a discussion with them and go, this is my livelihood. This is the business that I've chosen. I'm doing it. It's, it's that simple. Or you find a way around it, like I just said, that, that, that works. But we constantly see these barriers come up from, from coaches all the time. And it's like, you picked this job. You picked an online coach, right? If you want to maximize it, you have to understand that you're going to spend time online. And you're going to have to put in, put in the same amount of hours, if not more, than a full-time employee at a job. The thing Shock is, is that people talk that they want a, a 10K business or whatever, right? But the actions don't back it up. It's like saying I want to step on stage, but actually I don't want to do much cardio. I don't have time for cardio. And oh, tracking your food's a bit too much in it. Just don't step on stage then. That's as real as I can make yeah. it. And without preaching about how much we do now and stuff like that, what I will say is, as a direct comparison, that when I had 30 clients, which was for about the first three years of work, maybe, th yeah, three three years, I'd say, something like that was it. I was like, well, over time. I had loads of time off. Loads. And I know I had loads of time off because I spoke about this recently to somebody and they were asking about when I was happiest. And it was when I had 30 clients because I had loads of time to film. By the way, I weren't even... Cons I weren't even classing filming content as work, even though it was. To me, it was a hobby to film with Dan. I had loads of time to film with Dan, loads of time to, to dick around, like just chilling, 30 clients. I would get them done in over two days, 15 clients a day. Fucking happy days, five days, five days. Me and Dan used to film for a day, and that's it, brilliant. Like, I had loads of time off. The fact is, is that I didn't want that for my life forever. But we've gone through a period of growing for the last few years, of course. But the fact remains is that I'll sit here and be honest with you with it, that 30 clients, you have got fucking loads of time. I'm not lying. I wasn't lying to myself going, oh, I've got no time for anything. I've got no time for this. I've got no, I weren't making excuses. I was just doing it. And that's 30 client check-ins that are all video from the client and from the coach. This ain't no type form. This ain't no fucking leverage coach. This ain't no WhatsApp check-ins. It's not no email check-ins. It's not skipping check-ins. It's on fucking time every single fucking week structured because it's your fucking job and if you are completely honest with yourself you have bags and bags and bags and bags and bags of time mm -hmm. so then let's fast forward to where we are now so I, i've got about 120 personal clients all videos all videos we get one of these youtube two videos out a week we get in up we post more than more than seven times a week because we'll do six of these and then whatever post we're putting on our top. So we're probably posting, let's say, eight times, eight, nine times a week. All the content's done. We've got four coaches. We've got group calls. We've got mentoring calls, consulting calls. We've got our own um, sales calls that we have to book in. We have training plans to write. And when you've got 120 clients, obviously, granted, not all of them are fat loss, 40 or 50 of them are, but that's 40 or 50 and you've got 30 or 20. So I've still got more training plans to write than you. So, and, I, and I take weekends off. F funny that. Not off content, but I take weekends off. I don't do any work on Friday, Saturday. So I still feel like I've got an all right balance. Yeah, it's stretched. Some weeks are stretched. And you shouldn't go up to that amount. 
But if I'm fitting it into the same amount of time as you are, what's the difference? Yeah. It, like, like I said, the, the thing that baffles me is the fact that people are prepared to put in less hours for their own business than they were working for someone else's. <clears throat> you should be doing more, like loads more. And like, I'm not saying like, again, I know this whole like hustle culture and people are talking about like, you know, working hard as a badge of honor and this sort of stuff. And like, don't get me wrong. If I worked for a different, for, if I worked for someone else's business, would I fuck be doing all the extra hours? Would I, I wouldn't be doing any of that shit. Lazy. When it's for your, yeah. When it's for your own, it means a bit more. And you can see the direct benefit of it in the future. You know it's going to pay off in the future. But it's kind of like your clients, when you talk about fat loss, and you talk about nutrition, talk about training, you sort of say, oh, it's time to put yourself first. It's time to put yourself, you know, in that position where, look, you do go to the gym, you do train hard, you do eat right, put yourself first. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Like, you will have to do work when you don't really want to but it's putting yourself first. Like people who you tell them all the time, you say, I'll go to the gym and you don't really want to. You'll feel better for it afterwards. It's the same with this. You will feel better at some point in the future when you go, all that hard work paid off. Because it will pay off. It's, it's just not direct. It's not here and now. It's why a lot of coaches struggle with it. It pays off in the future. That's the, that's the thing I, I just want people to know is like, I want to know what you do all day. And I think if you started to write it out hour by hour, and I said this to Mike the other day when we were having food, I wish coaches had one of those. You know that you see it in chess, you see the little button that they press when the timer goes on and off when it's their go or not. I wish there was like an automatic one of those for coaches when they were working or not because you would be astounded as to how little work you do, genuinely. And I'm going to be completely honest and frank as well now. I feel bad sometimes because I know that I don't do as many hours and work as hard as Mike does because he has more clients than me. You should feel me. bad. <laughs> yeah. Because I do the same amount of time period, I do less clients than Mike and I feel like I'm stretched and I, I know that I take 10 minutes out to go and have a coffee or I take 30 minutes out to, to see Isabel when she gets back from school and all this sort of stuff. And I sometimes think, oh, I could be working a bit harder. I could be doing a bit more. I could be taking on a few more clients. I play golf. Mike doesn't play golf, so I have a bit more time to do that. And I sometimes think, oh, I should be doing more clients, should be doing more of this sort of stuff. But I'm in a position where I've created that balance and I've done that for myself. And we always have that, could I be working harder? But... Ask yourself the question, if you're not where you want to be, because I'm where I want to be, so it's different for me. If you're not where you want to be, maybe you should be sacrificing some things to get where you want to be. Maybe. Maybe you should. It's exactly that. So I did a podcast with Suk about why I don't believe you should go up to 120 clients, because I don't believe that. The difference is what Dan's just said there, or what you've just said, I'll talk to you, is that... Thanks, mate. That, um, right, I'll, I'll usually, usually you talk down to me, I'll so it's it, quite yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that you don't need to do the hours that I'm doing. You, you don't, because you're also not whinging that you're not growing or this or that or the other. You're comfortable. You've got healthy amounts of clients, healthy income, you're comfortable. And you are doing what I want to get to. So you look at me one way and go, maybe I should do more. I look at you and go, maybe I should do less. So it's the same thing. And when you realize out about what you're working for, what do most people work for? Money. Why do you want money? Because a number means nothing. Security. It'll allow me to do nice things. It'll allow me to take some time off and play golf. It'll allow me to have a nice house or live in a nice place. We got all those things. So you can do it. So I'm too far the other way, and I was quite honest about stuff on the on the podcast with Suck, where I only use me having 120 clients as an example of why I know you're not working hard when you've got 20 or 30 clients and you turn it, for example, a client might turn up to a check-in and go, I only posted three times this week. <laughs> And I'm the coach going, okay, and listen to these excuses about why you can't post seven times yeah. and you've got 20, 30 clients. I'm almost walking the walk and I'm the canary down the mine going, don't you don't lie to me. Like, you can post. You've chosen not to post. You've chosen not to put the hours in. So this isn't me preaching saying you need to get 120 clients. Grind harder. No, it's not good. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good for your physical health. You have no time. You're stressed. Whatever. Okay? Definitely be more like Dan. That's the first time you'll ever hear me say it. Don't record it. Do you hear that? Cut that Joe, out. put that on a reel, mate. Cut that out. Um, <laughs> ha, like, but there's a time for balance. Don't find it now when you're at 15, 20 clients. That's not the time for balance. You should be working your fucking nuts off. You should be doing what we have done to get to this stage. You should be pu pumping out content. You should be finding your niche. You should be talking to people. You should be getting out of your way to do stuff. You should be putting hours in. You should work weekends. You should work the evenings. And then at the point where you're like, Dan, 
and you want to go and play golf, you've earned the right to go and play golf because you've got a full client list that you've been working with for fucking nine, ten years. You've got result after result after result after result. But he hasn't, that, that hasn't come like that. That hasn't come by taking weekends off and spending no time in his business. That's come through all the hard work. You get to chill in the, in the end. That's when you get to chill. Yeah, it's like that. I shared that reel from Callum the other day. So Callum, again, probably more clients than you. <laughs> probably. I don't know if, how many he's got. Um, yeah, see, so you can probably work harder, mate. To be fair. Um, but yeah, you know, he's, the, the, you know, the bodybuilding coach and all that sort of stuff. And he put our reel and he said balance. Uh, the thing is, he said his balance is earned over time. Mm-hmm. Balance is earned over time. And I think that you just touched on there. You just said, you know, work your fucking nuts off. You don't need to. You need to do 45 hours a week, which is what most people do in their jobs. When, you know, like that's what we're saying. We're not saying that you have to work every single hour. God sends you can do, and you and you know if you did, maybe you get there a bit quicker. Like, again, not saying what we've done is the best way of doing it, but we've worked weekends, we've had one day off a week, we've done all that stuff um, to get to where we are now, or whatever. You could probably still do two two days off, have a weekend or whatever, have a weekend, maybe not at the weekend, but have a two day period. That's what you should be aiming for. But we're asking you to to do forty five hours of work a week. It's not mind blowing. It's took the average. It's what most people do. Um, it's just that when it's you on your own, it's hard to push yourself to that point. It's hard to get you to a place where you can do that because with online coaching, it, you're just sat on your own in an office. You, you're pretty lonely. You're looking around, oh, no one's watching me. I can get, I can get away with that. I'll just watch a bit of YouTube. You know, you do that whole thing. I, and I still do it now sometimes. So I'm, I'm with you, right? You do that whole thing of like, oh, it's, it's 10 past one. I'll start work at half past one. We start on a half past or an hour. <laughs> I can't do that 20 minute. Nah, oh, it's 1.13. I'll wait till 1.30. Do you know, it's that whole thing. Of like, you do that. We all do it, right? But when you don't have someone there and you you just are very, very slack. We all are. We all do it. It's different for me and Mike because we've got each other. You know, Mike's there sort of making sure I'm whipping me, making sure I'm doing what he's told me <laughs> to do. You know, yeah. Fucking wash those clothes by hand. You know, mm-hmm. like that. Um, Not anymore. He's always on the golf course. So. <laughs> you can't go out of it. Um, but it's that whole thing of, of you have to be so accountable to yourself. And that's exactly what we do with, with our coaching. It's exactly why we do what we do. Is It's that person there going, these are the tasks to do over the next two weeks. Do them. Because you do have enough time. You have got the ability to do it. Do it. Because on your own, you do not do that. You let yourself slide. Oh, I don't need to post today. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, I saw it. I don't need to chase up that lead. I don't need to do that conversation on DM. I don't need to do that. It's fine. You allow, you let yourself off so much. And it's exactly what your clients do with their own training and nutrition. It's exactly the same thing. I promise you. Um, so with that, like I said, um, sign up for coaching because it really works. But um, but no, in all seriousness, like you have to have that drive. You have to want to do those hours because that's what's required, unfortunately. There you go. Shock horror that rewards come with hard work. Shock horror. Yeah. That's, that's a YouTube video that's going to go or really Or you viral. could just get uh, pay people to do everything for you and yeah. just drive your expenses up in a fuck all effort. That's that as well. That works. Do that one. That works or do worse, that. but yeah. it works <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Breaking shit. Anyway, that's in the video. Right. See you. Have a good one. Yeah, share it in that. <laughs>